What's up everybody, peace with you guys, welcome back to Last Day on Earth and we are going to be starting our brand new series. So, this series is to help free play players or any players that need any help with anything in the game. Um, as you guys may know or do not know, I am actually free player. I've never bought the gold pass, um, well sorry I shouldn't say gold pass, I've never bought the season pass um, as well in the game and not saying that I haven't um, wanted to spend money on the game but I am pretty confident in being free to play and enjoying the free to play grind um, as well. It's basically the same grind even if you do spend money. Um, but the point of this series, probably series will be like 20 so episodes, is helping you to get rich. I know it may seem very hard to get rich. It may seem you may need to, uh, we're just going to enter our base. But you may think that you need to spend like a lot of money and, and a lot of stuff to actually get the materials that you need to progress and be rich but i'm going to show you in this video well in this series probably 20 episodes um that you don't need to do that as you guys can see this is my base this is my base right now um i will definitely start upgrading it more and fully start with steel um but this is just my base and just showing my base and showing you guys you don't need to spend a ton of money to be rich in last year earth um you can see from the guns that i have uh, for the materials that I have as, as well. See, you can see all the guns and stuff. Um, but you don't need to spend money to be rich in the game. So the first thing off that we really want to be talking about is going to be Bunker Alpha. Bunker Alpha is literally the bread and butter in this game. Um, you really can't do much without doing Bunker Alpha. Um, so when you start the game, you're going to get a default base as well so you'll be able the first cycle of the game i call it the cycles you need to get the chopper so the chopper is the first cycle in last time there are three vehicles in the game right now and the three vehicles right now are the chopper the boat that you can build at the port so this is the boat and then the last and final um vehicle in the game is the atv so the atv is literally in game um content that's in game content you can only get the atv when you do bravo but for right now pretend that bravo is not on the base not on the map right now you literally don't want to be thinking of bravo anytime soon bravo is one of the hardest um locations uh, right now it laboratory as well is just as hard but you you're gonna need bravo more in a way than you're gonna need the lab um, so the main things you really want to be doing in this game is going to be doing the green zones. When you start out, you're going to be grinding the green zones constantly. We're just going to run over to the, to the, um, to this location, uh, just to show you that a lot of stuff that you're going to need to do. Uh, so let's enter here, but you really want to be doing green zones. You're going to want to be doing the first location, green zone, and we're doing the stone green zone location, um, as well. You want to be doing the pine bushes and the limestone location a lot. So you can see when you hop into the map here, you're going to get like a lot of stuff. You're going to get a lot of events as well. And I would say do those events um, because they're going to introduce you to the game. Um, there's a lot of the, these are the story, the storyline that's going to be very, very good for you to do. And this is the first storyline and the first act is going to help you to actually get to Bravo. The end of this act will actually help you to get a Bravo. So that's why these events are, these uh, acts are very, very good. So I'm just going to open the acts and just show you all the different stuff that you can get. We're going to go over to dealers, um, mechanicians. This is what you're going to do first. This is literally what you're going to be doing first to actually um, get introduced into the game. So you can see if you do end up spending money, which I do not mind any player doing, you can get med kits and a gun as well. And those guns you need to be saving for Bravo, uh, for Alpha, sorry. So you're going to be getting like cleavers. You just want to be mainly just going through the location like this. So you're going to literally want to be coming to the location. And you see these um, common logs. You're going to take out all the common logs. You want to take with these seeds as well. Just take everything. Just to show you everything that you're going to need. And you literally, you're not going to have this armor at all. Um, the armor that you probably will want to be crafting is probably like the dad armor. Because you can literally get all this stuff just from this location alone. And killing zombies. But all you want to be doing... Just gain resources, gain resources, and the your best healing item in the game for when I start now are gonna be the berries. Berries have to be your best friend. Literally, they have to be your best friend. I have 120 health, that's just from perks. Um, but berries gonna have to be your best friend. 
you want to be gaining you want to be going to locations getting and just leveling up as well so you want to be going to locations just picking up a lot of this stuff uh crafting the campfire that is like basic thing for starting out and the garden the garden is probably one of the best things to have when starting out very quickly um as well could be able to grow um carrots and that's the biggest thing that you're going to be learning to, to actually um you actually want to be getting you want to be getting a ton of carrots carrots are very very efficient as well because that's how you're going to be able to get these seeds these are the seeds when you pick up the plant fiber as you're going to see here now it's just a chance you can get there you go so you got a chance of getting these seeds it's just a big chance to get these seeds and you can see the deer and stuff walking around you want to be sneaking behind them like this and you actually want to be killing the deers i know that seems a little sad um, i'm just going to kill everything here with the gun but i'm just showing you that you're going to need to kill these deers and this hide this raw hide may not seem like a big deal but that is one of probably one of going to be your most used resource in the game for right now um because what you're going to be doing with that leather is it's going to be a long grind but you want to get this tiny wrap it is going to be expensive it is expensive right now it really is but by the time you're grinding to get to this point you're going to have a lot of iron ore and the iron ore goes in the limestone location so you want to be going to the that green zone to get the raw um iron you want to get the raw iron as well and you're going to be able to craft that and you'll be able to craft like a lot of stuff so this is the raw iron you get um from those locations and you want to be building the tools as well to break the rocks to get that to get those so that's all you want to be doing you want to be just going to like greens or green locations and we're going back and forth you want to be going back and forth um through those locations to actually get what you need um as you guys can see when you kill these zombies you just want to be sneaking up behind them you don't want to be wasting your guns because there is a starter pass you can actually get that will help you through it uh, just doing like random tasks going to even if you go to just like one location you can get um resources which is really really neat um as well so that's what you basically just want to be doing just going to locations killing zombies and you can see there's different things they draw you don't need this at all you don't need that um right now you just want to be picking up like the rope and stuff that these zombies drop um as well that's all you want to be doing just picking up the rope um, if you find any NPCs, I would recommend you leave the location and come and go to and go to another one and come back to this because the you don't really want to be fighting some of these. Yes, they do give you um some stuff, but you are not gonna have the healing items um to actually fight these uh, AI players. These are not real players. Just to um keep you updated with that, they're not real players. You just want to be um they're just artificial intelligence, uh, artificial intelligence AI. Um, it's just, so you don't really want to be killing killing them um, if you don't have the resources. Just leave, go to a new location and come back if you want. Um, these chests are going to pay big evidence to you. You can see there's rubber parts, there's um, bolts, there's going to be glue, duct tape, um, a little bit of scrap metal. Yes, it may seem like boring loot, but for this loot here, it's a gold mine. Um, glue and duct tape are most used. Uh, rubber parts are sometimes pretty um, rare to find sometimes um, so it gets pretty hard to actually find them when you really need them and you're going to need them because they're going to be parts to the chopper you need so you can see we need, literally need five bolts iron bars and ten planks to actually build the style of the chopper but with the chopper the chopper has um, two building mechanisms i say mechanisms because that's, you need two of the you need to upgrade them basically build them twice because what you're building for the first set is just the blueprint you're just building the group the blueprint of that bike there's a second stage to actually building the chopper that's way bunker alpha comes in to play um you're going to need a lot of stuff to actually build um that chopper um as well so literally doing what i'm doing here just going to the outskirts picking out a lot of these um different things you can actually craft the spear which is may not may not seem like a good weapon but for you starting out it's going to be pretty okay and there's a lot of there's going to be cleavers and stuff you're going to get from different locations there are a lot of events you're going to be getting as well and um, there's a crash plane event which is probably one of the best events in the game to start out with there's going to be um airdrops airdrops i recommend to go to airdrops a ton 
and just you're gonna be just grinding these two locations limestone ridge and the uh like the plain bushes you're gonna be doing those locations constantly so you actually gain a lot of xp and the way to gain a lot of xp is you're just gonna go back home is the healer the healer at your base has to be your best friend i know that sounds weird with me, me saying best friend but you need to use the healer as much as possible because you want to be leveling up as quickly as possible to gain a lot of stuff um they're actually going to need so we're going to go here um don't mind my raiders because you won't be able to get raiders till you're level 150 i'm not going to jump into raiding because this is something you can't do until you're level 150 you can't raid at all so don't worry about the raiders but this is the healer the healer is one of the best things in this game um when you're starting out so he gives you three buffs there's the season meat the season meat is i love using the season meat because i am at level i don't need anything else but yes you will see this a lot and you may see this a lot as well but what you need is this the brain seeds the brain seeds is stretched to the limit you get every detail the experience you gain is a hundred percent so every time you kill like a random roaming zombie you get a ton of xp Especially if you have to kill for the dwellers or uh, toxic abominations. But don't worry about those zombies as yet when you see them and you don't have the healing items. I would recommend you to, to leave. You you will need to leave. Uh, sometimes when you die in a random location that I was in, you lose your stuff. You won't have this backpack that I have right now, which is not a backpack, which is the best backpack in the game. You're going to be having the basic backpack, which may seem which is really boring to have because of the limited space. Um, but you want to be expanding your base slowly and surely. No need to build walls. I would not recommend building walls on your base because you do not need them. The only time you're going to need walls on your base is if you're raiding. Um, I know that sounds stupid, but you literally do not need walls on your base. Just floors, a ton of boxes, and you can literally build your base that way knowing where you're going to put your walls and stuff. But you do not need walls. You just want to build a lot of these basic boxes. And you want to be slowly grinding to get all of this stuff. You're going to build a radio as well. You don't nearly need the dog crate as of early. But you will probably, you will, with the events that you get from the apps, you will get a puppy here and there. So you can slowly do this. But the main things that you will need, 100%, two campfires, two of these garden beds. You're going to need, hopefully, two of these if you can get two of them. You'll build a radio slowly but surely. Uh, you can get the rain catcher as well because with the rain catcher you can get like empty bottles especially if you drink water and put them in here and you'll be able to gain water um back as well so the bowl you don't really need to craft the bowl i wouldn't recommend crafting it, it does seem pretty cheap but i wouldn't really recommend crafting it yet till you get to bravo if you want to use the bowl you can to alpha sorry you can craft the bowl are able to go to um bank alpha and kill these zombies there bank alpha is another big challenge so just doing these slow and small steps just doing like the different locations as well and gaining those small little stuff to actually help you out with that so with and then the stone cutters where you want to get any stone cutter you want to be getting the rocks as you guys see i have a couple rocks in my inbox in my inventory i have three rocks and you just want to be building like the small stuff so we're going to be building two of these two campfires you want to be building the sewing table as well so you want to go in to get the sewing table um the sewing table is very very good it is pretty expensive and bars boys and you can see i'm not really talking about the planks rubber parts and, and the adhesive um glue i'm mainly talking about the iron ore because this is something you're gonna have to grind out a little bit more as well and so you're literally going to need a lot of stuff you can see you're going to be making stone bricks and making stone you want to be um progressively making both of them you want to be having a lot of stone you want to be having a lot of stone bricks as well um but the main thing you really want to be getting is going to be that iron ore because iron ore is very it's pretty hard to get sometimes and you, and you can see here i actually have two furnaces and uh, the furnaces are really really good you can see two of these iron ores makes one bar and scrap metal makes one bar um i would recommend saving your scrap metal for me i don't really need to save my scrap metal i can i tend to get like a lot of scrap metal but i wouldn't recommend doing it with the scrap metal like going out your way to get scrap metal 
uh, you mainly want to be getting the raw iron ore and if you get a lot of if you get a little bit of the bauxite you can take it it's not really not really necessary and use as much as as possible um but you want to be doing like the arts the arts are the biggest thing you want to learn the wall skill as well that's something i do have videos on the wall skill so i won't fully get into the wall skill um but the wall skill is pretty interesting it, it, it is a big thing in this game so for, for the wall skill i'm just going to show you a little thing um can i build let me sh build something that i can show you how the wall skill can really work just to, just to give you like a, a little bit of a thing so i'm going to build a wall I'm going to build two floors and a wall. I'm just going to show you a small little thing. So if a zombie was right here, so I'm going to, if a zombie was right here and I'm over here, the zombie cannot hit me. So for instance, a frenzy gen, one of the hardest zombies to fight in this game right now, especially if you're new and in bunker alpha, the frenzy giant hits you very hard, very, very hard. I do have a video on the wall skills. So you can always check it out um, as well. So if the zombie is there swinging and every time he swings, you can hear if you play with sound, you're going to hear the impact with the hit. So the zombie can't hit me. So when he swings and you hear that sound um, or just visually seeing it, you can pop out, hit him and go back behind. And you literally want to be doing that back and forth. Try not to get hit. If you get hit and you die, it's fine. You can go back to alpha and get your loot. You can't really do the wall skill in much of these zones like the um pine zones and stuff you really can't do the wall skill so it's mainly better to learn it in alpha and it, you need to and even the farm the farm you won't be able to do fully yet because it does take a lot of resources to build the um bridge but when you do build the bridge you'll be able to learn the wall skill a little better and then you can take it into alpha but you mainly want me just doing alpha because alpha will get you all these guns that i have um and then you'll be slowly doing different locations to get mods as well but I'm not going to get into guns. I'm not going to get into mods. Why are the bad mods? Because you don't, you won't have any. So you just want to be coming in here, sneak, sneaking the zombie, and then taking them out slowly and surely and be able to um, take them out um, as well. It will take time. The wall skill will take a lot of time. Do not be frustrated. I was a lot of frustrated, especially when I died a lot to the frenzy giants. But now I can kill them pretty easily um, as well. So you just want to be slowly and surely just making the healer your best friend and being able to get the 100 percent um boost and you just want to be slowly and surely just leveling up because when you level up there are a lot of perks in this game that are amazing so you can see with the active perks um these are all the perks i have um i'm able to actually slowly and surely use all of these perks you need to unlock them as well um the best ones i have are self-healing i love self-healing self-healing it literally gives you your full HP is basically a med kit, but over time, it heals 10 over time, which is really good. There is a sprint skill as well, it's really good. You have the rolling as well, it's very, very good. But I, have, I normally have sneaking because I tend to sneak more because sneaking gets you 100% um, a lot of the sneak damage. It gives you a lot of sneak damage depending on the weapon you have um, as well. So, so for the passive perks, the passive perks are very, very good. The best perk in this game um, free to play wise or even paid wise is the extra pocket you really can't pay to get perks so getting the extra pocket early is very very good um, the extra pocket right now is basically just this second slot down here because all you're going to have when you start out is going to be that slot you're not going to have this second slot so you can see I have med kits on the bottom and I'm able to carry two weapons and able to switch between them two so you can see I can switch between them two and still heal at the same time so that's really, really good, uh, especially if you have like a melee weapon and a gun as well. You can sneak, use the melee, and then use the gun to finish them off. And you're still going to be able to have your healing items. That's really good. That's where the second pocket is. One of the best, not the best um, skill in this game. Um, the one you really want to be getting as well is Hacker. Hacker is not too bad as well, especially if you're going into the locations. Those are mainly going to be hard locations, like the red zone. You will get like a, a bunker um as well as the different locations that you can actually get like different spawn events in a location um uh, be able to get the basement but i would recommend don't go to the basement basement is actually pretty hard even if it's a green zone bunker i wouldn't recommend doing that but the ones you really want to be getting hands down burglar best thing to get burglar is very very good especially for a bunker alpha um there's a location in the motel as well that you can actually open and get a free grenade so that's something that you can slowly and surely 
grained out so getting the burglar part is the best ash pocket is definitely the best and then there's slowly some that are very very good like the medic as well it helps you uh your bands restore more health which is perfect so that's why when you're killing zombies you're going to be getting this plant fiber and what you'll be using with this plant fiber is you're going to be going over to these sewing tables and we're making cloth because when you level up and you make cloth you're going to be able to uh, make med kits as well because you need the bandages I can be making bandages as well so every time you kill a zombie you see zombies drop pieces of cloth take it it will help in your long run and then you're slowly gonna be making bandages slowly gonna be making um med kits you don't need to make med kits i would just recommend you see you making bandages um and you're slowly gonna be making bandages and you're gonna be able to actually progress a little better um especially when you hop into alpha you're gonna need those bandages you're still gonna be using food as well but you're gonna be needing the bandages a little bit more and when you see when you take the seeds as well, you can make carrots. Carrots take it over um, as well. And then you make, get those carrots. You want to be going over to your campfire and making carrots too, making it a little better. Um, one thing that helps you a lot too is you can say have charcoal. And you'll be making how do you make charcoal? So when you craft the campfires, what you're going to be doing, you can see one wood makes one charcoal. And I would recommend you doing this. You're going to be getting the planks. To get that one charcoal so you can literally use 20 a stack of planks up top here so you want to be putting it top here and you can burn it with regular wood if you want or planks and planks to make the two charcoal it's up to you but i would recommend you burn planks than burn regular um wood well regular uh common logs you don't really want to be doing Doing that you want to be getting the planks so yes it does seem repetitive it seems like yes you're grinding so much but at the end of the day when you get a lot of this wood and stuff and turn it into a charcoal you're going to be grinding a lot so you want to be turning your um regular iron ore into iron bars constantly because that's what you want to be doing so you can see just basically do this and then when you get a decent amount of charcoal you can just turn it over and use the charcoal because the charcoal burns a little better than regular um wood so that's the whole reason why i i do that um as well it burns a little bit better and then you're gonna slowly get like a lot of charcoal like this um as well i get a lot of charcoal from raids but like i said raiding you don't want to be worrying about raiding at all you want to be just getting like a lot of charcoal making a lot of iron bars and then slowly and surely you're going to be doing the axe so still keep up with the axe too because the axe gives you a lot a lot of loot um as well so you can see here, you just just a small bit of loot. You're gonna be getting uh this this is the start. Then slowly you're gonna do the arts. You're gonna gonna get armor and stuff in your inbox. And if you do get the paid side, you can get more of those better resources. You're gonna get food as well. And then you're gonna be getting your first big weapon, the crossbow. Crossbow is pretty slow, but it's pretty fun. Just save it. And if you do want to use it in alpha, you can. And then you're gonna just like I said, slowly do the arts. You don't have to rush them down. You can slowly do them because you won't have the amount of resources needed for the axe because you're going to need um a lot maybe you need like a couple more healing items um as well so you're going to slowly and surely do them and then you're going to get the storyline down pack and you're going to get one of the best weapons free to play for wall skill the crowbar that's what you're basically going to be working towards when you can finish this entire app because you need to finish the entire app to get a chapter five and you're going to be able to do alpha you're going to be able to do alpha because at that time when you're going to be keep doing getting the brain seeds from the dealer uh, from the healer sorry you're going to be able to craft crowbars and this is one of the best weapons ever because you can see you're going to need um, you're going to need iron bars and you're going to need leather so you can see where that raw hide comes into play raw hide is amazing so you're going to be getting that raw hide and you can see this this right here is a tiny wrap and you're going to be doing that and just trying your um how to get the leather that you need to craft the crowbars because you all this is all the weapons you're gonna need you're gonna really need a couple crowbars and then you're gonna slowly be able to get a weapon um from the app so you can use your pistols and stuff um as well you're gonna need a couple pistols from you're gonna need a couple weapons gun wise to actually do a couple of the apps but i won't recommend you fully trying to use them all um if you do need to always take a pistol though in case because uh, that's one more um but the more weapons you will get the pistols you get more pistols than anything um so that's one weapon that you're going to need to bring to at least bring it out because you don't know what you're really getting into so bringing a pistol and r2 is going to be good but you're going to need like a crowbar and stuff 
uh, as well. And then slowly but surely, you're gonna be making a lot of these um, different workbenches. The recycler is one of the best things to get because uh, you're gonna be able to, when you use your armor, um, as well as if it gets with the red, uh, you gotta take one hit, you're gonna probably be able to actually reinforce them if you want. I wouldn't reinforce them because the leather is a little bit more and the glue is a little bit harder to get. Um, so if you do want to save them, you can. You can keep them till they're broken and then recycle them. Um, aluminum bars is pretty hard to get, so I'll probably just recommend you use your armor till it's fully up um, and then swap into like a new set of armor because the, the armor bars are pretty hard. The oak is sometimes a little pretty hard to get because oak is going to be the end game for the chopper. Cause you're gonna need the chopper to get to the old location so i wouldn't recommend trying to fully rush to build the recycler um at all it is a good thing to get but you don't need to fully rush to get that another thing that you don't literally need and it's gonna sound stupid because you're gonna want to get a lot of guns the gunsmith bench i wouldn't you don't need to build a gunsmith bench anymore no because you get a free gunsmith bench um when you start out the game you're going to be able to get the chopper if the you're going to get the blueprint already for the chopper so you literally don't need to build it because you're going to have you only have one chopper you don't need to build it at all so you're pretty set on that and you're just going to be have to dump resources into that to finish your bike um you literally do not dump anything into the recycle and you guys my bench i want to say that no because you're not going to be able to get much mods you will find mods but you won't be able to build them so you don't really need to dump anything into the gunsmith bench. Um, I'm going to show you what the gunsmith bench does. Um, as well, the gunsmith bench just gets you mods. And these mods are pretty hard to find, some of them. But there's one mod in the game that is pretty easy to obtain. With the guns that you, that gun that you're going to be able to mod the easiest is going to be the M16. M16 is one of the easiest guns I want to say to mod. Um, the mods to get on, the, the, on this M16 is going to be great. You want to get one of these sites red dot rv um site to x and then you want the muzzle brake one of the best and then you want to be getting one of these lasers but like i said you don't have to worry about mods at all because it's going to be so hard for you to get mods as well you will get a couple mods from apps um as well you can just learn them and be done with it um as well but you're going to slowly and surely when you get to alpha you're going to slowly but surely get um, a lot of the mods as well and in bunker alpha one of the best things for you to get to get a ton of guns will be the tickets when you do bunker alpha every three days when it resets you'll begin getting tickets and there's a system where you can hand hand in these yellow tickets hand in the red tickets as well hand in the green tickets the red tickets are more rare so those give you the best loot so the biggest thing you want to be opening will be the green tickets you're going to be opening the green tickets literally all the time. It gives you one gun and that one gun is going to pay big respects to you. It is literally going to help you so much. That one gun may seem like a, um, very little, but you're slowly and surely going to be gaining guns because you just need to do the wall skill in alpha. Um, I would recommend if you are doing bunk alpha, you are in bunk alpha, just do floor two. Just clear floor two constantly. Um, you're going to be getting, you may get a little scared enough. I'm not going to lie to you. You may get a little scared because of the, uh, frenzy gents, but you can literally just kill everything else. Leave the frenzy gents. And if you have a gun, you can just use your probably like two, three pistols, if so much to kill the frenzy gents. Um, you will be getting probably like a couple weapons here, like the zip gun. Um, do not craft guns. It's not worth it. Literally not worth it. Um, but you're going to probably get, when you loot a lot of chests in alpha, you may get like a gun. So like the zip gun may seem terrible. It is terrible, but you'll be able to kill a frenzy giant with that zip gun alone because your frenzy giant is pretty, pretty slow. Um, so all you want to be doing, just do floor two. I'm not going to get a bunk alpha yet because when you, you will be able to get the bunk alpha, but you'll be, you won't be able to craft the chopper right away. It will take you a couple tries. It really does. But the main things that you're going to need for the chopper, the chopper wheel, the chopper handle or chopper fork, and the gas, the gas tank. Probably one of the hardest things to get, but right now it gets pretty easy to find the gas tank. You can say I have so much of them just by opening crates. Just by opening crates, I've gotten all of those. So that's what you basically going to be doing. Um, I'm going to take a couple tickets over to um, Bunker Alpha 
just to show you what loot you can get. But like I said, you slowly, slowly... Well, I don't think I need to. We'll do that in the next episode. I'll show you guys the loot you can actually get uh, from that. But this is just the radio. You can slowly but surely build the radio. The radio does have a second um, building mechanic to it um, as well. But you want to be building this uh, radio to actually get um, that. And the apps actually help you with getting a lot of stuff built. So that is the main thing you want to be um, doing as well. But hopefully, guys... This first episode of this um, series was helpful. Like I said, the chopper is going to be the end game part for you when you finish Bunker Alpha. When you get the chopper, you're going to be able to do um, the old locations as well. And then Bunker Bravo will be the last thing you want to do. So this is the old locations as well. You have a lot of stuff to do. We'll definitely go over that um, in the next episode for sure. Um, I do stream on Twitch as well. But by the time you're seeing this video, it will be a little later. Um, I'm streaming this. I'm um, sorry, recording this on Saturday. You'll probably see this sometime during the week or next week. I'm not 100 sure when I was scheduled this video. Um, but that's just small little things we can do because Bunker Alpha is everything you're gonna need to do. Do the green locations constantly, and then we and then do all the events, especially the airdrop. Airdrop is perfect. You get a free weapon all the time, free melee weapon or free um gun. One of the, the melee weapons you can get from the airdrop will be the Skull Crusher. You can see, I wouldn't craft the Skull Crusher at all. Pretty expensive. You can get the pipe as well. The pipe is pretty expensive, but when you get like a ton of iron bars and stuff, you're going to be able to craft them. Um, the machete, my best melee weapon to actually do the wall skill with. I love using the machete. And then you can slowly but surely get like the saw blade mace um, as well um for sure and then you'll be able to get a crowbar as you can get a couple of pistols as well so that's small things you can get from the airdrop which is one of the best things to, to get um in the game there's a lot of stuff in this game a lot of stuff that i hear is not in the game yet um so i would i would definitely try to go over a lot of these work which are not in the game uh right now like this vehicle this vehicle is not in the game and it will probably won't be the game for a long time um but hopefully this um uh, video did help it was pretty long Yes, we did have, we still have a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, I can go over the wall skill if need be, but I literally don't have to because I do have a video on the wall skill um, in Bangkok for already. But hopefully this video did help a lot. Uh, like I said, I do stream on Twitch as well. Um, I do have a Discord if you want to join. Um, I can help you guys out a lot. If you want to, you don't have to. You can hopefully videos do help out a lot. But I hope you guys did enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.